Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the Cross Lake map. Uh, I, I sort of stumbled there, but it's fine. We'll get started. Now, the Cross Lake map is a heavy navy-oriented map, as navy occupies practically the entire portion of the map. Only land is on the sides, uh, and it's a narrow entrance, so land attacks are usually not the, not the go-to. So, of course, I will go for a deployment time double shipyard, because I can... And because since this is a navy oriented map, we will need heavy naval support superiority from the get go. So we are going to produce mass produce caimans and then put them on scouting boost to capture these containers. And of course, we will be getting all these containers as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah. Of course, assaults will take down riflemen. Uh, at the beginning of battle, but I have collected all the containers near my base, so that's fine. That's fine. I will. I am also collecting all the containers, the naval containers near Green's base. So revenge, yeah, pretty good. I'm getting all these good juicy containers. Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty nice. Also, yeah, Akaiman's uh, scouting range on Gold Scout boost. Is pretty good if you guys are did not know it is pretty pretty good pretty good <laughs> yeah and of course if we don't see green doing anything I assume green is moving their base green can't really do anything at the, at the moment if I was green I would at least put down two bunkers or so uh, to hold off against Kaiman's uh, while I move my base. That's what I th I would do, personally. It seems that Green is upgrading the barracks to level 2, but that's not a good move. Because Kaimans outrange heavy assaults anyways, so they won't be good as defense, and I can just engage these barracks with my Kaimans anyways. So I don't think that's a good move. Okay, green, green's come to, uh, to scout my ally, I believe. So I just, I just warned him of the, yeah, of the scouting. Blue is desperately making deltas in order to defend. Uh, also training, mass-producing assaults to defend. Although alligators will, will outrange the assaults, and now more alligators will be coming. Of course, these commons will get outpowered, though, but there are alligators here. Also, there has been a set minefield over here, so deltas can't really just walk into any territory, unless they're on the demining mode. Uh, but then again, demining mode will... An explosion on a mine will still make it explode, so if the delta is over the mine, even on demining mode, and the mine explodes, it will still take damage. Of course, my Kaimans are not like the, the superior navy my ally has, so I'll be going for an air force, uh, consisting of dragonfly helicopters. And we will use these Dragonfly Helicopters to finish off Green's base. And slowly but surely we will add on the force so it will exponentially increase in power. Of course, Blue's base may have been moved over here. Most likely it's been moved, but I mean, Blue has taken a huge loss over here, a huge loss. Now Hawks are coming in. Yeah, Blue has definitely moved. So, effective microwing from my ally. Pretty nice. Not the best micro, but still pretty effective. Now we are fighting Green's army on the ground front. Uh, using my Coyote to tank so much damage while my Rifleman can dish. Although, the fortress is really tanky.
Yeah, while we're fighting here, we'll be wrecking Green's base uh, from his own base. So, yeah. This is basically a good game.